Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Alter New and today I have a two for one. This is a His and Hers Clean and Simple Ninja Invasion Design. So I'm going to start with the Hers card and I've got a piece of, it's a pale grey cardstock and it's cut to the same size as my card front. And I'm stamping, there's a set called To The Moon and it has a layered moon on it and rather than stamp the base layer of the moon I decided to use the grey cardstock instead so I'm actually only stamping the second and third layer of this stamp it's the and I've used the greys so it's a, like a tone on tone sort of effect now I have decided to use my misty today because then I can get a lot more even coverage is my stamping it takes the guesswork out of it if I need to add a couple of layers which I have in a lot of my stamping today especially in the ninja cards because it's actually a new stamp set and I haven't used it much so they haven't been conditioned very well yet but um, the best thing about the misty is you can re-stamp over your image and you know it's going to be in exactly the same spot right so I did decide to stamp my sentiment at the same time because I have my cardstock in, I might as well get it done and I've chosen a sentiment from the same set which is probably my favourite <laughs> sentiment out of the set and I just had to use it. It says crafty by day, deadly ninja by night <laughs> and mm, it's not me but I'd love to think that I could be a ninja. Mm, not me. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just picturing myself being a ninja, it ain't gonna happen. Okay, I wanted the moon to have some whiteness about it and I tossed up um, whether to use pigment inks and do it that way on the coloured cardstock but this is my cheats way of doing it. I decided to actually come back in with a Prismacolor, a white Prismacolor pencil. I'm just colouring the gaps of the moon that would have been white and that way I knew it would have that kind of lightness about it and I didn't have to worry about pigment inks. And I wanted to use the alternate greys anyway. So now it's time to stamp out my ninjas and this ninja invasion set is such a fun set. I've had this idea of stamping out a pink ninja ever since I saw it and with the new set of pinks, the hot pinks, the bright pinks that Alton you have, they've, the last three sets of ink that were released have become my favourite, the pinks, the blues and the yellows and I use them all the time. And this one's the Pinkalicious and I did stamp that out a couple of times. And this is what I love about the Misty is I can actually line up my stamps before I stamp the image. I don't have to try and uh, freehand stamp it. Although this isn't a very, this isn't a difficult image. These aren't difficult images to line up. They're a bit forgiving actually. And I use the Sand Dunes colour for the skin and there's uh, also a little separate hand. Now each of these in images is um, actually circled so if you have, have a look at the set you can tell which pieces go with which ninja but there's also a, a guide on the back of the pack or at the website as well. And I'm just going to use the coordinating die to stamp this out. Now if you'll notice I haven't actually stamped out the swords yet and that's because they actually run through the whole image so if I stamped it black it wouldn't have mattered you wouldn't see it but because I'm stamping my image in pink if I stamped over top you would actually see the sword through the pink portion of the ninja there so I've just done a simple mask with some post-it note I wasn't sure and I actually did die cut it first before I stamped it out it was I was six or one half a dozen another I wasn't sure whether I wanted to stamp it then die cut it but I just thought this was an easy way I know that the swords are going to be exactly where they need to on the image if I've die cut it first I can just remove my masks and to get rid of my pink eyeshadow <laughs> on my ninja I'm just coming in with my Copic multi-liner and of course it's a girl so she gets little tiny eyelashes and I also did decide to come in and colour over the pink ink on the handles of the swords just to make them black. I could have selectively stamped this but it's just much easier just to add some you know colour over the top with the Copic multi-liner. Now I've got a card, top fold card 
it's cut the same excuse me the same size as the panel or vice versa <laughs> and I've added that added some adhesive adhesive oh I'm struggling with my words so I'm sorry I'm post night duty here <laughs> I added it to the front of my top fold card with some adhesive and now I'm just going to pop up my little pink ninja girl isn't she awesome I did also add a rhinestone to her because you need a bit of sparkle on a girl ninja <laughs> Right, this is my second card. It's even more clean and simple. It's a boy card. It's a his card for the Ninja Invasion. And I am using my Misty again. That's a new stamp. So I did actually condition my stamp with just a normal white pencil eraser. And that's what I found works the best. And it's a great cheats way to sort of allow your ink to... Um, stamp out evenly if you're having trouble with your inks it's a good trick to try now I'm stamping directly on my card there's another top fold card but this one's a landscape one and I've done the classic black ninja here for a boy adding in the skin layers and also the sword and the the belt I've used that turquoise blue it's just beautiful now my sentiment I did in grey but it was just too pale so I came back and stamped it a second time which is the best thing about the Misty like I said. So that's it for my cards today, thanks for joining me and I'll have all the details listed at the blog and the links will be below. So bye for now.